One day after the election, the Supreme Court will tackle the ongoing debate between the First Amendment and discrimination. In 2018, the city of Philadelphia rescinded part of its contract with Catholic Social Services due to the group's refusal to certify same-sex couples as foster parents, claiming it violated their religious beliefs. Despite their beginnings, they can be the best versions of themselves. At the center of the case, clients of CSS, foster parents who say they picked CSS above the city's 29 other agencies, partly because of their shared religious beliefs. These foster parents, led by Sharonel Fulton and others, sued the city and said, this is religious discrimination. The American Civil Liberties Union represents Philadelphia Family Pride and says the ruling could impact more than the LGBTQ community. It's going to make it that much harder for people to access the services people depend on. They could be turned away because they're LGBT, because they're Catholic, because they're Mormon, or anything else that the organization has a religious objection to. And these are both values that uh, are enshrined in our Constitution, the idea of free religion, the idea of anti-discrimination. And so it's a really hard question. Um, and we've seen the justices really struggle with it. A lot of times they'll find a really fact-specific reason uh, to send the case back to the lower courts. One question the court may answer with this case goes back to a 1990 ruling, Employment Division v. Smith. Here, the majority opinion, written by the late Antonin Scalia, determined that when it comes to free exercise of religion, a state's law was constitutional as long as it was neutral and generally applicable, meaning a law is good to go if it applies to everyone and isn't targeting a specific religion. Some legal groups say the court got it wrong and want to see it overturned. There's a really big battle going on between the justices and their opinions about whether or not they should overturn cases that they think were wrongly decided. I, Amy Coney Barrett, do solemnly swear. All eyes will be on the court's newest justice, Amy Coney Barrett. Here's what she said during her confirmation hearing about recent court cases involving religious freedom. The court has been free, uh, very clear that religious institutions can't be discriminated against or excluded from public programs simply because they are religious. During her time in the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, Barrett and the panel ruled in favor of a religious institute in Gruscott v. Milwaukee Jewish Day School. Finding the religious school had the right to fire an employee exempt from anti-discrimination laws because the teacher was deemed to be a minister. Now, when it comes to the case at hand, both sides tell me that one of the biggest impacts will be on the nearly 400,000 kids in foster care. Amber Strong, Newsy, Northern Virginia.